Let's get started with mistake number one, using hooks thinking that it will fix your content. Listen, we understand what hooks are for and that they might help stop the scroll when someone's scrolling down the Reels tab. However, the mistake comes when people think that by just throwing in a hook with a power word, they're gonna get more views on their video. And the truth is that if the content, if the video is crap, hooks won't help whatsoever. In fact, if you use a hook as clickbait and people see that the content is not valuable at all, you're gonna end up losing their trust credibility and they'll just end up feeling deceived and probably unfollowing you or not watching any more of your content. Focus on the content, the messaging and the value that your reel provides. Keep it clear, concise and relevant. Mistake number two is not using storytelling. Storytelling is a skill that every creator, entrepreneur, and business owner should master if they want to succeed on social media. It's through stories that we connect, we learn, and we make decisions because stories are memorable. Storytelling will make your reel more engaging and it will increase the odds of people saving it for later or sharing it with their communities. What are some examples of storytelling reels? Sharing your story, a day in the life of a, sharing the story behind your product or service, behind the scenes, character role plays, and vlogs. Mistake number three is overcomplicating your reels. The era of over-edited reels and fancy transitions is over. People are craving original, raw, and authentic reels. People need to see themselves in your reel somehow and feel inspired to create something similar. Overcomplicating your reels might make feel your audience intimidated and disconnected from your brand. And at the same time, you need to simplify your life when it comes to creating content. Just as my friend Jessica from Social Bohemia says, less perfection, more connection. Simple reels will help you connect so much better with your audience. Mistake number four is putting all the value in the caption. I love writing long captions, but this doesn't work anymore, especially when someone's scrolling down the real step because they only see the first line and if they actually tap to read the caption, it overlays with the video, so it's not very user-friendly. And if the reel doesn't provide any value to begin with, they're not gonna be reading the caption either and you will be failing to get your messaging through. Provide quick value in your video, keep it simple, and then you can expand in the caption. Mistake number five is using CTA call to actions the wrong way. Most people either use too many call to actions in their reels, which becomes confusing for their audience, or they just use them wrong. Going back to captions, if you hide your call to action at the bottom of the caption, chances are that very few people will read up to there. And this is a huge no-no, especially if it's a promotional post where you are talking about your service, your offers, or your programs. The other day I was speaking with my friend Carol from the Digital Buzz, and she said something that is very true, which is that not every reel needs to have a call to action. In fact, most storytelling reels don't end with a call to action. But then you can start your caption with a question related to the story that you're telling to invite your audience to participate or to engage in conversation. Depending on the type of reel, you can add your call to action at the end of the video, the beginning or end of the caption. And here's a pro tip for you. If you are creating original content, which means you will be creating also an original audio, you can change the name of this audio and add your call to action there as well. I've been doing this lately and you would be surprised to see how effective this is. Mistake number six, not using your voice in original content. I have an entire video where I go over what original content is, which is basically content that is created edited and posted by you. So technically, if you start a trend, it still counts as original content as long as you are creating this trend. But this won't be helping you to build trust and credibility or to generate more sales. Using your voice through talking head reels or direct to camera reels is essential to improve your reels performance. Remember that when we talk about your reels performance, we're not talking about views. That's a whole different story. By performance, I mean that your reel is achieving the goal you created it with, whether it was to build community, to position your brand, to generate sales or leads, etc. Talking reels might not generate a ton of views, but hiding behind trends or lip syncs won't generate any brand or business growth, which is what we're here for essentially. And mistake number seven, the pace of your reel is off. 
There is nothing more boring than a slow reel where you're either talking too slow or moving too slow, where there are a lot of dead spaces or empty spaces within the video, which can be easily edited out in post-production. And also nothing more annoying than a reel that goes way too fast. You can't even read the text, understand what the person is saying, or get the main message of the video. Finding the perfect pace is key to retain people. Make sure you create your reel fast enough to keep people engaged, but slow enough to keep it clear. The truth is that the perfect pacing only comes with practice, but there's a lot of things that you can start doing when you edit your reel.